school? W one slow pull, I felt my net vibrating already. I was like, oh shit. It was like a I one. Saw, I saw from over there you had a heavy load. Yeah. But oh. oh, you see what I mean? So like. Uh -huh. Well, it's not that windy. <laughs> I mean, it's windy, but not killer windy. Were you able to see the fight on the on your GoPro? See everything. Oh, okay. I got the other charging cable. Oh, well, I'm just gonna have to work with uh, the big camera. Get more bait? Don't tell me you get a bit already. All right. Whew. Good morning, good morning, good morning, mother suckers. Welcome back to another video. I'm back out here at Coronado Ferry Landing, but this time I brought some people. Behind the camera we got uh, John. You guys don't remember him? He uh, he used to fish with me, what, like five, six years ago? Yeah. The, we fished together for a long time, but uh, the Filipino in him came out. Now he's a dedicated pier fisherman. He's behind the camera right now making bait. We're out here at Ferry Landing hunting for halibut, Corvina, bass, anything and everything big or small you guys already know we're gonna try to catch them all but yeah thank you so much for tuning in wherever you guys are watching from on the toilet at work anywhere and anywhere and anywhere and everywhere yeah it's chilly well what's today wednesday right wednesday. yeah wednesday morning 6 a.m yeah <laughs> we didn't call off work what are you talking about my arm's in a cast <laughs> but yeah wednesday morning out here ferry landing it is as you guys can see behind me it's kind of gloomy right now we had some uh random rain come through last night uh apparently john said it was pretty heavy rain but in my area it was fairly light but hopefully it stays dry but uh full disclaimer i forgot my gopro battery today i have the gopro i have the battery i forgot my charger but i'm gonna make do of it or make the best of it i should say and get everything on a big camera because I brought spare batteries for the big camera. I bought the charging cable for the big camera and I got the battery for the big camera. So hopefully it stays running. We're going to give it a shot out here. I think Ken, Ken's meeting us out here, right? I already mentioned that. So Ken's going to be meeting us out here. But yeah, so you know what? We are fishing the incoming tide. Is it incoming tide today? Oh man. All right, guys, um, I'll, I'll pull up the tide chart for you guys to see. If you guys look to my left or my right, the tide chart will be right there. Um, the tide is still going out right now. It slacks out at around low tide is at 8.12 a.m. at negative 0.5 feet. High tide peaks at 3.36 p.m. at 3.3 feet. So it's going to be a slow climb. Well, hopefully there's going to be some decent movement in the water. I mean, John made shit ton of bait i mean <laughs> you scooped up the whole school yep. with one uh with one toss look at this filipino power man out here catching uh live bait so i guess the skunk's off for him as you can see but yeah but uh i'm gonna get all rigged up and there is something i want to show you guys after i get everything all set up and you know get this video going get this day started so you guys sit tight don't forget to wipe and uh like and subscribe if you already have not comment below and yeah, let's get going. Let's go. All right, so these hooks are here? No, those are, uh, it should be wrapped. Or, yeah, everything in there is consolidated. All right, we got weights. Got a giant Kaivo bait. What oh, is yeah, it? Dude, that's what I was about to tell you. <laughs> Kai I think I'm gonna bomb that in the middle of the bay and see that. You said it's wrapped? It's a, it should be in the, the owner pouch. Owner pouch. Yeah, right pouch, the one that you buy from the hook. Oh, the hook, right? Yeah. This guy? Yep. All right. Got that. And then swivels. Oh, right here. Yeah. Oh, those are three-way swivels. Hold on. That you bought from Walmart? These are all three-way? No, on Amazon. The other ones are in here. Oh, these are all three-way. Oops. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I feel like a newbie fisherman. I bought this in Hawaii. Ooh. All right, 
where do I start? Okay, here it is. Just get a barrel swivel. So I don't know what size that is, but there's that. And a swivel clip, right? Yep. You know what? Since I'm already here, I'm taking a B2. I forgot to bring a rag. So I'm going to use your button. Yeah, pervert. Look at that. Look at that. Bead. What do you call the setup? The halibut finder? <laughs> yes. Put that in here. All right. Got the bead. Two swivels. I don't want to drop it. The rod and reel of choice is going to be the Daiwa Tatula 300 with the custom clicker I added to it, and I have it on a, a major craft giant killing. I believe this is the light jigging spec but it's my lightest bait casting offshore rod i have or slow pitch jigging whatever you guys want to call it nowadays rod i have but i'm going to use it for live bait today and hopefully we stick something also the line i'm using on here is 30 pound major craft dangan x8 multicolor and 15 pound red label seager from walmart so yep let's hop into it how long is the leader from the weight? About a foot. About a foot? Yeah. Oh, can I get a two ounce? Yeah. That's what I forgot. My bad pro fisherman, John over here. I'm learning from John now. He used to learn from me. Crazy, huh, how things go. All right, so I got my swivel and my leader right here. So how I usually do this kind of rig is my main line, leader line, I run the swivel with the clip through it first, just like that. Then a bead. Once it beads through it, then I get the uh, swivel with the other leader. And then the reason why I tied the swivel on separately is because I can do a Palomar knot a lot easier with the main line. I've been doing it like this since freaking out was a kid I believe longer than that when I was still in liquid form <laughs> this is the hook John recommends you guys take notes right there I think I have a bunch of these hooks bro I think I have a lot of these hooks in my offshore bag I just got to find my offshore bag so this is my setup right here you can see the two ounce triangle pyramid weight with the clip and the swivel bead oh shoot John's getting bit Barrel swivel, short, like about a foot liter, and a hook. So we'll get it uh, baited up and try to catch some fish. Dude, you, you don't have a net? Oh, I forgot my net. No! Yeah. Damn it, Farmer John. All right, this is why they die faster now. Because <laughs> our hands are touching the water. No, it's fine. All right. You look delicious. If I was a halibut, I'd eat you. Here it is. Little grunion. Yep, strip. There it is right there. Oh, oh, there it is. Nose hook it? Nose hook. Just like a sardine. Hi, Ken. We got live bait fishing. There it is. There's the rig. This one's not out, right? No, okay. No. I had two bites already. He caught one already. Did he? Yeah. He's in there already? Oh, no, he caught a, uh, a spotty? Yeah, a spotty. Oh. Ken's here, guys. Wait, 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 wait. So before you put it down, as soon as it drops, give it a couple cranks in. That's how mostly like all the legal hollow that's in the land. Like as straight up, like as soon as the weight hits the bottom, the light. I'm, I'm here, but I'm not here. Hi, Ken. Hello. This is like... Today is Saturday. Today is Saturday. <laughs> So like, yeah, what I like to do with at least one of the rods is I'll cast one out, let it drop, and slow creep it. Got him. Yeah. Ooh, you got to be kind of bigger than me. Is your net set up? Yeah. I'm not doing it. Oh, he's short. Yeah, he's tiny. Yeah, he's a little shaky. Can you flip him? Yeah, I, I can, just, I'm gonna give him a second. I thought you said, can you lip him? 
<laughs> he's like a 20. Yeah, he's like a 20. Phoenix. <sighs> Never mind, he's like 18. John with the first Halley. Look at that. Dude, I'm see, I'm telling out. you, I let him eat for a while, but these owner live bait hooks refuse to like get gunned. Look, look, check out his fence. Look, look, it says gyrating. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right, well, while we wait for the bite, there's a little bit of something, or there is something I want to show you guys. I'm going to do it right here on the pier. But what we're going to need is obviously some tools. I'm a little flathead. Got one of these real tools right here. What I'm gonna be installing on my new combo. Let me grab it. I decided to pick up a new rod and reel. This is another Daiwa Zillion right here. This is the TWS SVG. I have it on the Daiwa Proteus 8 foot medium heavy. This rod is rated, I believe, 2 to 6 ounce, 40 to 70. And on the reel, I have 20 pound J braid to 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. And what I'm gonna do to this reel is something I have not done in a very, very, very long time. If you guys ever heard of Gomexis, they sent me out these reel handle upgrades and drag star upgrades <laughs> like a year ago, I believe. I'm so sorry guys, it's been so long since uh, I've been fishing and you know, I got a lot of other stuff I'm working on, including life and kids and work and all the other stuff. So I'm gonna install these on the fly right here. I'm sorry I don't have my GoPro. Well, I do have my GoPro, just no charging capability for it right now. And GoPro 4 batteries are garbage. They record for like 10 minutes, then they're dead. I should upgrade, but meh. I mean, the 4 works, whatever. So let's hop right into it. I'm gonna remove this handle and the star drag. Like literally upgrading a reel on the fly. Double check our rods, nothing's getting bit, all right. I got the retaining collar off. You guys can see right there, I removed that whole collar. I'm just taking it off just like that. It's loose enough now. Take that off, pull with the star drag. Slowly remove the handle. There's a washer under the handle right there. You don't want to lose that. Take the star drag off. This is all spring loaded. Make sure there's nothing at the bottom. Drop the sucker right on. Flush fit, cool. Pretty cool handle right here. I mean, I forget what size this is. This is a, it don't say. A hundred, yeah. This one is a hundred millimeter. There's the sizes on the back. You take the washer from your old handle, which is this little thingy right here. Drop it on. Whoa. The wind's picking up. Oh, this is scary. In the box at the bottom, there's the uh, the hardware. Comes with a torque wrench. Good morning, Good morning right. man. How you doing? Good. Just doing a, a you know on the pier live upgrading of a reel. <laughs> oh, there you go. Here's all the different nuts and whatnot that comes with the handle. What's up? Doing anything this morning? Nah, he caught three so far. Uh, I, started, I got here this morning. It was so windy. Uh, I didn't want to stay out here in the cold. I walked up to the, to the uh, bridge and I've worked my way around. I've only caught five. Jeez, that four, bad. A halibut and four bass. Well, that's what they call fishing. Yeah. You just got to find one of these nuts to fit uh, the actual pinion or whatever you guys want to call that. All right, found the right one. So the hardware does come with two of these, one for left-hand reels and one for right-handed reels. I got the plastics off. It's on there pretty good. Got it pretty tight. All right, that's with the drag completely off. Just tighten it. All right, it's pretty, oh yeah. I like this. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Ain't she pretty? Look at that. Gonna slap a jerk bait on this, Lucky Craft, and uh, we'll see what's popping. It's a live upgrade. I completely changed my reel. <laughs> huh? Did you go cork? Is it cork? They sent it to me. Oh, nice. Oh. Yeah, Gomexis. It's been sitting in my freaking garage for like a year. 
So I was like, oh, I got a new reel, why not? Here you go. I'm gonna be fishing the saltwater surf pointer 115 in anchovy. Anchovy does get out here? Yeah. All right, there it is. This is gonna be the Lucky Craft surf pointer with the new rod and reel. Let's do it. Oh, I forgot to tighten down this piece. <laughs> all right, it's all tightened up. All from hook bait tackle. <laughs> there it is. First fish of the morning for me on this behemoth of a uh, underspin. I'll take it. <laughs> Try to get another one. John, no, no, maybe I can bounce it. Oh, hey, look at that. What the fuck? <laughs> John, Nance, where's John? Oh, wait, no, I got it, I got it, I got it. Is that? Oh, God, it's good. Yeah, where's the, where's the cable for it? No, he's using it. John, man. Howie? I don't want to bounce it. Oh, oh my goodness. No, 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 no! Fuck it, bounce it! Leave him in the water! Yeah. <laughs> the pelican came out of nowhere and started biting it! <laughs> oh, oh, no way! I didn't want to fuck it! Wait, I didn't know! It? Dude! What did? The pelican, pelican came and bit him in the face and his tail! Oh! So, uh, well, it ain't legal, but. Hey, you pulled up a little glow stick thing, too. <laughs> oh, <laughs> at least you know you can bounce it with that rod! Right there. Just at it. there it is Dude. it ain't legal but the pelican came got him right there the pelican got him right there yeah right when i cast it over there uh, right when it hit the water he just came up and took it what the heck yeah that was crazy what well, gonna let him go there it is i called a net because I'm a weenie like that. <laughs> but uh, that pelican came and I just said, you know what, F it. Just bounced his ass. Just let him go. Swim away. All right, all right, all right, guys. It was an interesting morning, but it warmed up super duper fast. My goal today was to get out here and land illegal halibut on live bait. You guys know me, I rarely ever fish with live bait. I have crappy luck with it. But hey, I was able to get two on live bait, two spotties, tiny as hell, one spotty on the underspin, 
I think it was on an underspin. Yeah, it was on an underspin. And an 18 to 20 inch halibut on the cool baits underspin with Kitex. Overall, it was fun. I mean, I'll definitely do it again. Um, it's just I had to cut it short. Well, kind of. I mean, it wasn't short at all, actually. I started at 6. It is 1 p.m. now. So it warmed up a lot. This morning was super windy, super cold. And as I'm leaving, the sun comes out. It's blazing hot out there. There's tons of guys fishing out there right now. John's out there and the other John's out there and a couple other guys. It was fun. I mean, I'll do it again. Definitely do it again. I apologize if this video was all over the place. I mean, I forgot my GoPro plug uh, to plug into my portable battery. So there was really no point in me even bothering to try and record on my chest with the GoPro. But you guys let me know down in the comments below. What do you guys think of the, you know, big camera only, no GoPro different angles and kind of all over the damn place y'all let me know in the comments below i really hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely gonna do it again if you guys like this style of video with gopro let me know in the comments below uh but yeah i'm gonna close it out right there guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and again i want to give a special shout out to gomexis for plugging me up with those handles and knobs or handle knobs with that handle and drag star or star drag they look phenomenal uh i recommend them i will leave the link to their Instagram and their website in the description below. Also, everything I used in this video will also be in the description below. So check that out. And yeah, so shout out to everyone that came out today. Wasn't much, but it was fun while it lasted. Jared was out here this morning too. So yeah, um, maybe we'll do it again next time. Summer is coming. It is heating up. The bite's picking up. Uh, fingers crossed. I'll land my legal halibut sometime this year. Not really in a rush, but it would be nice. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And um if you're still on the toilet, don't forget to wipe. If your legs are numb, I'm sorry. But yeah, as always, good fishing and peace the hell out.